This presentation will outline the features and interface options of Umtex Proteus Series controllers. The Proteus X is the most versatile of our controllers as it can be configured for a wide variety of options. The Proteus X is used as large sites and can handle up to 40 level probes or up to 64 bright eye sensors. On the front panel we have our 7 inch color touchscreen display. Most units are equipped with a printer, but it is an optional feature. On the inside, we see the back of the display has an intrinsic cover. Next to that, we have the printer in this protective metal box. On the left side of the controller is mounted the main control unit, or MCU board. A red RS-485 communication board is mounted on the MCU and comes standard on the Proteus X. On the back of the controller is mounted the backplane, which will house the various interface boards, which are explained later in this presentation. The card cage will contain a metal barrier to separate the intrinsic and non-intrinsic boards. A total of six interface boards can be installed in the card cage, with a maximum of four boards of any one type. On the left side of the card cage is the unit's power supply. The TCPIP RJ45 and serial RS-232 DB9 communication ports are located on the bottom of the controller. When the door is closed, the metal plate of the display and the metal barrier in the card cage produces an intrinsic safe compartment for the probe and sensor inputs. The Proteus K is used as small sites and can handle up to 8 level probes or up to 16 bright eye sensors. Just like the Proteus X, the front panel has a 7 inch color touchscreen display and printer option. As with the Proteus X on the inside, the display has an intrinsic cover and the printer is in its protective metal box. On the left side of the controller is mounted the unit's power supply. On the back left side is mounted the main control unit or MCU board. A red RS-45 communication board, optional on the Proteus K, can be mounted on the MCU. On the back right side is mounted one of two different probe sensor interface boards, which are explained later. The interface board will have a meta barrier to separate the intrinsic and non-intrinsic side of the interface board. The TCPIP RJ45 and serial RS-232 DB9 communication ports are located on the left side of the controller. Again, when the door is closed, the metal plate of the display and the metal barrier over the interface board produces an intrinsic safe compartment for the probe and sensor inputs. The Proteus B is also used at small sites and can handle up to 8 level probes or up to 16 bright eye sensors. Unlike the Proteus X or Proteus K, the front panel has only our 7-inch color touchscreen display. The Proteus B is not equipped with a printer. Looking on the inside, we see the back of the display has an intrinsic cover. On the left side of the controller is mounted the unit's power supply. On the back of the controller is mounted one of two different probe center interface boards, which will be explained later. Like the Proteus K, the interface board has a metal barrier to separate the intrinsic and non-intrinsic sides of the interface board. As this does not have an MCU board, there are some unit functions that will not be available. A serial RS-232 DB9 communication port is located on the left side of the controller. As with the other controllers, when the door is closed, the metal plate of the display and the metal barrier over the interface board produces an intrinsic safe compartment for the probe and sensor inputs. The MCU, main control unit, is installed in the Proteus X and K controllers. It provides the various input-output functions required by the system, as well as the web interface function and the optional Modbus protocol. This is a data collection point for log storage and print functions. A RS-45 communication board gets mounted on the MCU, which is standard on a Proteus X and optional on a Proteus K. There are three onboard relays rated for 0.45 amps at 125 volts DC, which are used for remote enunciators. These relays can be programmed to monitor various conditions and will trigger other processes upon alarm conditions. The XB416 is a combination probe and sensor interface board. It is responsible for communicating with the probes and sensors, gathering the required data for other functions of the controller, it stores the data to be viewed in the on-screen reports and transfers data to the MCU for print functions. The XB800 performs the same functions as the XB416, with the only difference being that it only collects probe data. Individual XB416 and XB800 interface boards 
can be combined in the Proteus X controller. The XB416DC is the wireless version of the XB416 and performs the same functions. However, information is sent from the tank or the transmitter to the controller, the receiver, via radio transmissions. This unit gets installed in the Proteus X and is referred to as a Proteus W. The XB800DC is a wireless version of the XB800 and also communicates via radio transmission. Both the XB416DC and XB800DC are equipped with RS-232 communication test ports to assist with troubleshooting radio transmission issues. In special cases, wired and wireless interface boards can be installed into a single Proteus-X unit. The XBRBA relay output board is used in the Proteus-X when remote necessary requirements are greater than two tanks or when pumps need to be controlled and cannot be handled by low voltage relays installed on the MCU. For Proteus-K, this module is mounted in an external enclosure and is called an XCR8. The XB4IO is a combination input-output board for the Proteus X only. The relay outputs can be programmed in the same manner as the XBRB8. Discrete contacts can be connected to the inputs and can be programmed to control seven different individual functions. This completes the presentation on features and interface options of the Proteus series controllers.